Well, in a previous video, we took a look at a five amp hour Ego 56 volt arc lithium battery. And I was mentioning that Patrick has sent in two five amp hours and a 2.5 amp hour. And that five amp hour battery, we learned a little bit about the connection and causing the orange blinking light. Well, this one right here, it actually shows green. And, uh, and it stays green, it doesn't blink or anything. And if we check our voltage, we're getting right at 50 volts. So it's not like all the cells are depleted or anything. And it shows like it thinks it's okay and ready to charge. However, we put it in the charger. It acts like normal after it does the check. It goes to kick in a the high current charge and we get the 25% uh, blinking red light. Battery still shows green. I don't know how many have the same issue. And you can see that um, I believe Patrick probably wrote this on here, um, flash red on charger. And um, I'm just gonna take the T15 screws out of here. The T15 security screws. And we'll be right back. Back now with all the screws removed. We take the cover off. The next thing I want to do is go through and take the potting off of the connectors. So I can take the connectors off. Uh, and it's just like I did in a previous video. So we'll fast forward to that point. So I've carefully gone through and pulled up all the silicone the actual white silicone that goes onto the connectors and it kind of sticks to the gray silicone but it, it does pop off fairly easy and once we do that we can lift the connectors fairly easy um you can grab them with your finger and pull pretty pretty evenly but i still prefer to get them started especially when they're um, still have a little bit of silicone attached i like to get some help with a small screwdriver I might need to go through and do the potting like we did on the previous uh, repair and, and pretty much all the repairs I do. If it's BMS related, I do get down to just like this 2.5 amp hour and take all the potting off, of course, as we did in the last video as well. But in this case, the BMS shows green, but the battery's showing an issue. So, so the reason I have this one here is it's very, very similar. So I'm going to plug this one in. And the reason I love to have I already repair BMS ready with the right connectors like this, like this being a Gen 1 type connector. And I believe I have one somewhere. Yeah, this is more like a, what I call a Gen 2 connector. As you can see, the, the connectors will be different. I believe this came off of a, either a 4 or 5 amp hour pack. But I believe it was the second generation with the one black connector. And they're all actually smaller if you can see that. But if you have the right version, you can just plug it in. And of course, having that potting removed helps tremendously in troubleshooting. We still get our green light, of course. But now we can go through and we can check every cell from our test point ground here or the ground on the main battery terminal, either one. And we just go around and we see we got almost 3.7, almost 3.7. I'm just going to keep going around here and if I find anything, we'll show it on video. 3.7. Well, we got, we dropped down below two volts there. And to be 14 is almost 3.7. So we have an issue between B12 and B13. So let's look into that. So in a previous video, I discussed the wiring and I even did a wiring video for the 2.5 amp hour for a viewer that asked for help and assistance in that. So I know that between B12 and B13 is, is going to be this yellow and this white wire. The reason why that's important is because it helps me here distinguish which one is going to be um, like B12 and B13. And first of all, this red one, it goes all the way to the connector. This is probably going to be your B14. And then here's a white wire here, if you can see that. And you can barely see that the yellow wire comes up here. So if I go from white to yellow, well, there's my 1.9 volts. So we do have an issue with this cluster right here. 
which will be these two batteries here. Because as you see, the way they're in series, it's a cluster of two here that go through another cluster of two here in series. So it's gonna be between here and here. Our white and yellow wires just happen to be our monitoring back to our BMS to help us find it, so that's neat. But if we look here, um, this is definitely gonna be minus on this end, and this is gonna be positive. And what I'm gonna do is simply just boost these cells up just a little bit to see if that's the issue with this pack. Now, sometimes when, a, when cells do get out of balance or unbalanced like that, there's not an easy fix for it. When people say boost it up, it's good, it's a fix. Well, it's not always a fix, of course. And I talk, I talk about that a lot on my channel, especially not knowing your conditions of your cells that you're boosting. But for some reason, this one has dropped down. So just for sheer troubleshooting, I'm gonna carefully bring over my supply. I'm actually gonna set my supply on about 3.7 volts because that's what my other cells are set at. I don't want to go above it, and I don't really like it being below it. I'm gonna set my current for about 1.2 amps. Since this is two in parallel, we could go up to two pretty easy. But since it could be something wrong with one of them, we're gonna be careful. So I'm gonna to hook to my, my yellow wire, which is probably the best way to, to clip that on there. And I'm just on the connector itself, which these are soldered on, so it's a good connection here. So let me bring my current down. I'm 2.8 in rising, so it picked up pretty quick. That's a good sign that it ain't uh, just or stalled out. Let's go about 1.6 amps. Let's just let that charge up, and we'll be back to check on it. So currently we are at CV, so we are at 3.7 volts and holding. Current's dropping, so it won't be long. We'll be right back. 3.67, so that's gonna be really, really close to the other cells. I am gonna take time here just to put the original cap back on and we'll be right back. I'm just going to bring the charger back up. See if it does any differently. There we go. Just going to let that continue to charge. They were doing fine. Set it down, let it keep charging. So obviously it could still be a cell issue. I'll monitor that pack and see if that same cell uh, cluster drops down again. It could have been something really odd that happened there and it could, I know this is a Gen 2 uh, BMS here, but it could even be something with this BMS balancing circuits, uh, one through seven and uh, eight through 14s. It could even be something in here that's pulling the, pulling the cells down. So I'll monitor it and make sure something isn't going on with the actual BMS board, but um, at least wanted to do a quick video showing uh, what was keeping that one from charging and functioning properly. And that is initially what, what gets that back charging and working. So if you like that video, please like, share, Subscribe and thanks for watching.